I mean, that does certainly seem to be a lot of uh, agreement amongst European leaders ahead of this summit on trade, Karen. You know, Donald Tusk sends out this letter inviting them all here. It's kind of a formality. A lot of this is heavily choreographed in advance. But in that letter, he called for deeper economic integration in Europe in light of the current global political context. In terms of President Trump, he said in this letter that his policies place, quote, immense pressure on transatlantic relations. And that's despite what he said, tireless efforts from the Europeans to try and maintain that Western unity. In terms of the G7 meeting back in Quebec, we obviously followed that pretty closely. That seems to have been a turning point for a lot of European leaders, in including Donald Tusk. And following on from that, he seems to think that there is no way of repairing this relationship successfully. Dinner tonight will be a bit of a venue for them to talk about a number of issues, including trade. That is one of the more open debates. But as you sort of mentioned, there's not a huge amount of disagreement between these leaders. They're going to be looking for a number of things in terms of formal endorsements. They're going to be formally endorsing, very likely at least, the, the measures that Cecilia Malmström, the European Commissioner, has taken, the retaliatory measures, as well as the appeal to the WTO. They're obviously calling for a reforms to the WTO. The US have been blocking uh, uh, applications to that board over the last couple of years, as I'm sure you all know. And the other thing, of course, they're going to be looking at is long-term safeguards to try and protect European steel and aluminium producers. That's something they talked about back in March when these tariffs first got floated. They're going to be carrying out an investigation that could last till the end of the year. But in the meantime, they'll be taking provisional measures to try and protect those producers from steel that would otherwise be ending up in the US, ending up on European shores. That's something, again, these European leaders will be looking to endorse later on today. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.